Our daily segment highlighting the best of Bloomberg Intelligence. Companies are set to announce actions aimed at right-sizing their corporate structures really to enhance focus and growth prospects after lackluster sector share performance. Let's bring in our Bloomberg Intelligence, Kenneth Shea, for more. Is that really what you see sort of driving performance going forward? What's really behind that? Hi, Taylor. So at Bloomberg Intelligence, we took a look at the consumer staples sector over the uh, you know year to date over the last uh, three years, and we, we see that our expectation is that in the second half, a lot of these companies may resort to some kind of right sizing actions to unlock value, to um, align their uh, operations so it's more focused. And, you know, a lot of that is because not only have the shares been weak, but we see recently activists have been more engaged in this group. Mm -hmm. You know, Unilever, Danon, uh, and Nestle even last year uh, were involved. So we, we think that not only is there opportunity from an activist point of view, but we think that no company is too large if those can be involved. And then finally, we see the market's been receptive to spinoffs outside the consumer staples area. You just have to look at, you know, 3M and, and some other companies. There has been some opportunity. And so we think these companies will be turning to uh, some kind of right-sizing actions in the second half. And remind us why they need right-sizing. What's meant they've had such a poor first half? Well, you know, a lot of these companies, Caroline, have... Um, been really slow to move away from the conglomerate, slow-moving, uh, plotting organizations that they've been. I mean, Kellogg is a good example. Kellogg in June uh, said it was going to split up into three pieces, you know, to spin off its very mature North American cereals business and to give investors an opportunity to have more of a pure play buying opportunity for its plant-based business, which has a lot of opportunity and different funding needs than, you know, mature cereal business. And that's just a good example of, you know, a highly diversified, almost too diversified consumer staples goods company that really should consider either spinning off or aligning its operations better. So investors really have a better sense of what, what it is, the opportunity is that they're seeking. So is a lot of the struggles the sector is seeing due to just kind of management mishaps then, or is some of this due to the broader macro environment? I'm trying to latch on to a reason as to, uh, you know, how much better things can get for these companies if they do engage with these spinoffs and activist investors. Well, so now, you know, that it, it varies from company to company, obviously, but we've seen a lot of the beverage companies, you know, these are the companies I cover, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, and so on, and particularly the alcoholic beverage companies, you know, COVID was a very disruptive uh, time for them. You know, the on-premise restaurants and bars closed down, and so they had to resort to, you know, ready to, home, ready to make home drinks and so on. And while that's a near-term kind of item, what we've seen coming out of COVID, a lot of these companies have been very slow to address the problems that they had pre-COVID, which was, again, you know, they uh, tend to be overly diversified. They're seeking um, many different opportunities. Um, in the case of Altria, for instance, this is one of the companies that we cited as a company that really ought to take some action. Shares are down to 40 percent from their high a few years ago. They've been slow to diversify away from the secular decline in cigarettes. They have an $11 billion stake in uh, Anheuser-Busch Imba that's not working out. And our call has been simply, wouldn't it be better a use of that funds to invest in the business, maybe other businesses to diversify from cigarettes, maybe a you know, greater level stock buybacks, something. Mm -hmm. Shareholders just, just aren't giving the credit for that asset.